First off, so we're in the dark room now. I like to get everything ready. Uh, it's my developer. Positive collodion. We'll get about 70 mils in there. Get that all set up. And for safety reasons, I always use gloves um, because there's some heavy metals in the collodion and there's ferrous sulfate in the developer and there's um, potassium cyanide in the fixer, which is crazy. We have an exhaust fan going, so we're all safe back here. Um, we can do this on clear glass or we can do it on black aluminum and we're going to do this on black aluminum today. I'm going to pull my cork on my collodion, see how good of a pour I get. This is called pouring the plate. Go to one corner, then another corner, bring it down to another corner, and we sort of, that's where I lost a little collodion. Always rock it a little bit so you don't get streaks. Just to pull that glove off. Thank you. So, set this at four minutes. I let this sit for about a minute. And then what we're going to do is we're going to sensitize it in a 9% silver nitrate. Getting sort of, sort of sticky. Um, usually you want to use a tank. Uh, my tank, they had some difficulties with my first tank, so I'm actually sensitizing this plate in a tray of silver nitrate, which isn't the, the best way to do this, but um, it works. Obviously, if you saw the, the photograph of Anonymous in, in the gas mask. So, about every minute, I give the, the tank a little jiggle, and while that's happening, I set this up. So this is what I loaded on. Now, yeah, is we'll, there a we'll time get you. Frame between when you do this and when we go there to get yeah, done? Yeah, it's a wet plate process. Yeah, you know. And this is what they did back in the 1800s. It was de developed by Frederick Scott Archer, and it was popular pretty much all the way up until, I don't know, the 1880s when they decided how to make dry plates, which made it easier. Because obviously, you need to be within walking distance of your darkroom to your subject that you're photographing. All the Civil War photographs were um, taken using the collodion wet plate process. Take the plate out. I want to save all my silver because that's pretty expensive. Then I set this on here. I dry the back. We don't want a sloppy, sloppy plate. Uh, most people doing this uh, have special camera backs made and eventually I'll have a, a special wet plate back made. Basically just set this plate in here. I got this that sort of holds the aluminum in place. There we go. Okay, let's go take a photograph. 